concept of Satan, Lucifer, the devil, or Baphomet is a very interesting and highly charged and taboo subject for superstitious people. It's interesting that the devil is often depicted as a goat, and the word scapegoat means someone who is getting the blame, though they may not be responsible for what they're being faulted for. In the same regard, people may be blaming a devil or some force outside of themselves for all the mishaps, misfortunes, the sin and the bogusness of them life. It's also interesting point that the word devil itself is made up of two words, one deva or devi, deva meaning God in the Sanskrit and Indian Vedic traditions and el meaning God or light in the Hebraic and Semitic traditions. You have the word demon, which originally just meant the genius of the soul. Often it was associated with the animal totem related to the soul. And of course, Lucifer means the light bringer or the light bearer. And there's nothing wrong with light. Light is uh, a positive, productive, stimulating force in our universe. The need to make someone wrong, the need to blame someone for our problems and to shirk off responsibility is a, a deviation from integration. It's a separation from oneness. God is one. God is omnipotent, all-powerful, the only power. To suggest that there is an opposite power as strong or somewhat as strong as God that can actually be battling against him and actually have some victories is ludicrous. To realize that God is omnipresent and exists everywhere and pervades everything, then it's quite impossible for there to be an opposite of God that exists in reality and eternality. So the concept of the devil or of an eternal adversary of God may be uh, a very poor quality idea that strips one of their sovereignty, of their power as a creator of their experience. And if, if one deals with forgiveness and love, uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't hold the idea that if there was a being who was absolute evil, that he might not have the chance to repent and uh, improve his ways, just like we all do. Therefore, if there is a being of absolute evil, such as the devil, it's good to no longer hold that entity in a space of wrong and, and judgment as evil, but to express love for all, all attacks are just a call for love. And if the devil is the adversary attacking, then our love, our self-love, our, our love of the universe, our love of all of our relations, our unconditional freely flowing love is what will be the cure for any type of anti-life, 
anti-love, anti-peace, anti-harmony thoughts, which from my perspective could be the only thing that we have to let go of and delete would be thoughts and feelings that don't serve our bliss, joy, Satchitananda, eternal body. Om Namah Shivaya.